The Pistons have $30 million in cap space, a top five pick, and now they have a GM to drive the team in a new direction. Troy Weaver. He's been with the Oklahoma City Thunder the last 10 seasons. He was most recently the team's senior VP of basketball operations. Widely viewed as a fantastic talent evaluator, Weaver is the first Pistons GM since 2018. Detroit has gone without one since firing Stan Van Gundy. They actually wanted to talk to him back then. James Edwards from The Athletic told me about the desire. The Pistons had to talk to him then and how they landed him now. There was a various reasons why he didn't interview, but the Pistons did want him very badly. Um, and obviously circled back two years later, got him. And, um, yeah, he's a guy that's been kind of coveted throughout the NBA for a few years. Every time there was a GM opening, you heard Troy Weaver's name attached to it in some capacity. Um, he comes from an organization that's had nothing but sustained winning um, since he's been there. Uh, big names. And then even this year when people thought they wouldn't do too well, and they're going to the bubble. So. Um, it's a guy that, talking to people, seems to have a good eye for talent. Um, seems to be a good, not just player, uh, front office relationship guy, but just a good people person. And uh, I think he'll fit right in in Detroit in that regard. The Pistons franchise has been stuck in the middle for so long and on the wrong side of the middle. Fringe playoff contender, like you had mentioned, with Blake Griffin there. But as they're rebuilding, how does he fit into it? When you bring in a new GM like this, what do you think it says about it, Stefanski, and specifically about Arn Tellman, even all the way to the top, Tom Gore is in the way he's trying to build this thing. Yeah, I mean, it really seems like to me they're trying to get a get somebody in here who's can leave their imprint. Um, obviously, there's a lot of people making decisions, uh, but it, from what I hear and, and what the hire says, Weaver is here to to make the have the loudest voice in in most cases to have the kind of the job Ed did, uh, allowing him to have this platform where there's cap space for the first time in a long time. They have the first top five pick since the Darko year. Um, like, this is a lot more desirable destination than it was in 2018. Um, and Ed and Arn deserve credit for that, um, to, to clear the way and, and, and kind of allow whoever stepped in to, to start from the ground up. And I think, like we were saying earlier, Weaver's track record speaks for itself. And for a guy to have that kind of palette uh, to work with, you, you wonder what he can do and what his, uh, his touches will look like.